What up, YouTube? It's your boy Gay back with another video. Listen, I don't think 10, 10 reasons why I should and I will be successful. And why I want to be a su successful too. Stay tuned. Alright. I'll try to wait. But the reason why I should and want to be successful, um, Number one, the stuff that I've been through in my life. And the fact that I've been through four death experiences when I told that church, I, I was choking at church. Uh, at, at birth, I almost went deaf. So that was a death, almost a death experience. I had to go through surgery as a kid. Um, Uh, when I was 16, uh, dude tried to choke, try to, uh, choke me out. He actually did choke me out. I was a freshman on a basketball team. My own, my own teammate came behind me trying to choke me out. He choked me out. Like that, my head hit the floor. All the girls were laughing at me. All the boys were laughing at me, but that was kind of shocked. I was still laying on the ground and shit. So, all that did, like, they were knocked out unconscious. Ain't nobody, everybody had to think, thought it was funny. So I was like, it was like a little bit of hum humiliation. And recently, that yeah, I wasn't 16, I went out was 15. Yeah, 15. When I turned like 17, yeah, 17. Yeah, that wasn't even long ago, I'm 19. Huh? Well, when I turned 17, I wanted to commit a su suicide. I wanted overdose on pills, so I, the pills, I, I would take it, the pain pills, I wanted to chug them all up, so, for death experiences, the fact that I'm still alive, that, that's making me want to be successful, okay, I'm still alive, I'm still striving to be the best, let me be successful, let me be successful, you feel me, um, another reason why, I mean, I've been humiliated, embarrassed my whole life, through my parents, At, at school, at church, been humiliated, been embarrassed, been talked about, been bullied. And now I'm still standing up, still striving, still making the videos, still trying to be the best I can be. And that's why I said I feel like I should be, uh, I should be successful and I want to be successful. That's like, I don't even have to come 10 reasons one after that. Um, well, how I grew up, I grew up in poverty, bro. I grew up in poverty, that's another reason. I didn't even, I ain't had to uh, define the things of life growing up. So I want to have that final things of life. That's why I hate when people say, you got to lose that vanity and that materialism. This ain't materialistic. I'm not materialistic. I just never had that much, uh, that. And the final things in life is easy. I never had that that nice car, or I never experienced that nice car. Never experienced living in a big house. I never experienced um, being financially free, picking up stuff, and I don't know how to look at the price. That's another reason. Financial freedom. I want to feel financial freedom. Um. Females is another reason. I mean, I same thing. Uh, I've been females been rejecting me since I was seventh grade. Uh, no, fifth grade. They call me ugly and like, oh, ugh, oh, ugh, Gabriel, oh, ugh, ugh, he ugly. I mean, I mean, a female told me, uh, I, I ain't never forget this. I, another girl asked her, "Do you like Gabriel?" And she said, what? Uh-uh. Hell no. I was right there sitting right by the side. Of her, and I heard the whole thing. I, I was kind of sweaty at the time because I was playing PE. You know how you playing basketball PE? I was sweaty at the time. And I heard that shit. I was, I was cool enough, actually. Oh, I heard that shit. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, man, damn. She was bad, too. She was fine. 
I liked the her, but she didn't like me. Same thing for the other girls too. At that same year, that my eighth grade year. When I when I went to a basketball game, I seen them chillers. Them, them chillers told me, "Ugh, Gabriel, ugh." And it's like you just rubbed me off the wrong way. Got in high school, got a girl best friend. She wanted me to hang around her. She wanted me to hold her hand, hug her and stuff. But then she don't tell me, "Oh, you too short for me." I want a dark skin nigga when I'm dark skin. Um, uh, uh, he ugly. Uh, uh, I don't want him. Said that in front of me and her friend. Her friend asked her, "Oh, do you do you want it?" He's dick, and I was like, "She was like, hell no." Like, I, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, don't my own girl best friend don't want to do that to me. Go to church. Go to church. None of them girls want to sit around me. They don't want to get close to me or none of that. I, I, I wasn't stinking nothing. I just, they didn't want to be around me. I'm like, what the fuck? So, you know, that I always had a little loner type of feel to myself. Like, bro, I might roll along. And that's why I say, if I be rich and successful, no females that rejected me in the past, that played with my feelings, rejecting me, rejecting me while I was down, while I ain't had nothing. As soon as I, when I get the stuff that I need to be successful and be like, you know, like Corey Pritchard, Carmen Core, had a nice house and nice car. When I get all that stuff, I don't want to hear, I, like, y'all, y'all people are going to be looking stupid. You know why? Because I was in y'all face the whole time. I was there. I was trying. I was trying to be. I was trying to be friends first. I was trying to start a romance, but you you denied it. You rejected me. You neglected me. You embarrassed me. You humiliated me. And all the dudes out there who joked on me, bullied me while when I was growing up, you gonna be looking stupid because if you could have been on my side, you could have been my right hand man. You could have. You could have. You could have be reaping the benefits right now. You feel me? That's why I want to be successful. That's why I want to be rich and famous. That's why. Because growing up, I always had this pain. I don't want to say I don't, I'm, I'm not being scored or anything. I'm just saying, when you felt all that stuff, being in poverty, friends friends at school, other people at school neglecting you, humiliating you, bullying you, girls don't want to. You try to look your best, you still ain't gonna get none. You only got a little you only got a little bit of attention for females, got a little crush, but it wasn't it wasn't enough to like like really pitch you over the stuff. It may it may be humble be growing up, but it's ain't now now I'm like now I have a little bit, you know, self confidence and like a self self confidence issue, self esteem issue now. Cause the over humbleness. I should be able to talk my stuff right now. Yeah, I got this, I got this, yeah, I got this, yeah. I got my stuff in order, yeah. I'm a man. I got all this stuff, yeah. I I should be success, successful. That's why I want to be successful. And like I said, not everybody came up the same way. It's okay, but this is why I want to be successful. Cause I know it's experience that happiness, that that joy, that okay, I'm good. I always gotta um, think about bills I gotta pay. All I gotta think about, I gotta go to work. I don't wanna think about that. You find that free. You feel me? You find that free. I don't have to go to work today. I don't clunk, I'm punching the clock. I don't have to worry about these bills because I, I already got enough money. I got hundreds and hundreds of thousands in my bank account. Millions in my bank account, even. You feel me? That would be a good feeling to, ha- to have, right? That you good. You stacked your money. Oh, that female and that woman, okay. I still got my I still got my luxury car, I still got my two story house. I still got a good credit score. You feel me? You still you still gonna feel, feel good about yourself. And then when she see that luxury car, oh you want me now, huh? You see what I'm talking about? Let me let me go a little bit further. There was a DoorDash. I ordered a DoorDash yesterday. She was slim thick. 
I didn't want to, I ain't going to say, I said, he said, hey, I was like, hey, how you doing? And I ain't say nothing to her. I ain't start no conversation because she pulled up to my, to my, to my house, not my actual house, to my parents' house. My parents' house was bad looking. It's atrocious. I was embarrassed. I was saying, I'm going to get my food. I ain't say that. I didn't say that. I ain't start no conversation. I was like, let me go and get my food type shit. And keep it going because, like I said, I don't have my stuff together right now. Still living in my parents' house, breaking a minimum wage job, doing YouTube, trying to, trying to follow my dream. And I can't date right now. I'm not in a position to date. I'm not about to force it. I can look at these females, but I'm, I'm not about to force it. If it, if What's meant for me gonna be for me. So, okay. That's all I gotta say. And I'm sorry to the females that I seen in the stores, at my job, and uh, anywhere that I couldn't approach you. I'm sorry. But I can't I can't do nothing for you. I want I wanna bring something to the table. I don't wanna bring just dick to the table, you know what I mean? When this dick is not experienced, I'm still a virgin. So I'm 19 years old, I'm still a virgin. So you feel me? This all I gotta say, man. If y'all wonder why why he always wants this, that's the reason why I gave out.